close your eyes and find your breath. Where do you feel it right now? Wherever it's most prominent, wherever it's easiest to see, focus on that part of your body. And then try to stay there. And allow the breath to be comfortable. Figure out what kind of rhythm feels best for that part of the body right now. It could be long or short, fast, slow, shallow, deep, heavy, light. It's usually good to start with a couple of good, deep, long, heavy in and out breaths to emphasize the feeling of the breathing. And then when you're more sensitive to it, then you can let the mind stay right there with that comfortable breath and allow it to spread throughout the body. This is an important principle because once you start getting comfortable with the breath, it's easy to drift off. So try to think of the breath, good breath energy going throughout the body, down the spine, out the legs, down the arms, throughout the torso, all around the head. So the whole body is bathed in good breath energy. And if the sense of comfortable breath changes, okay, you've got to keep up with it, see what is right for the body right now, right now. You want to be on top of this. This is how you develop alertness. You see what you're doing, and you see the results of what you're doing. That's where you're supposed to focus in the present moment. It's all too easy to say, well, just be in the present moment. We well, can be anywhere in the present moment. You can be with distracted thoughts in the present moment. You can be with all kinds of things. But in particular, the most useful place to stay is being alert to what you're doing and alert to what the results are of what you're doing. Because that's how you can make corrections for what you're doing. Because it is your intentions that shapes your life, that shape your life. And you want to make sure that you're shaping it well. So this is where you can see it in action. You're mindful to keep this in mind to remember this is where you want to stay. Because mindfulness is the ability to remember. remember. Alertness is watching what you're doing and seeing the results of what you're doing. And then ardency is the third quality that the Buddha recommends, which is trying to do this really well. This is where the wisdom comes in. What does it mean to do things really well? What is skillful right now? Well, you learn from your actions, and then you remember what you've learned. So these three qualities all build on each other. You remember what you've, in the beginning, you remember the instructions you've learned from other people, but after all, you have to remember what you've learned from being alert and being ardent. And this way, these two qualities grow together and they strengthen the mind, bring it into concentration. At the same time, that they develop discernment too. So everything you need is right here. Just focus, know where to focus, how to focus, and have a strong sense of, okay, you want to do this really well. If you're on a retreat and they say you've only got three days, they tell you, well, don't try to do anything special in three days. That's because they, otherwise you'll put yourself in a pressure cooker. But when you're thinking about the practice as a lifetime engagement with the Dharma, you really do have to have a sense of, okay, you want to do this well. And there is such a thing as good meditation and bad meditation. The worst meditation is when you're not observant at all. You come out and you say, I don't know what happened. Better than that is when things aren't going well, but you're trying to make them go well and trying to figure things out. Because after a while, if you do this carefully enough, you will be able to figure out what really is helpful for getting the mind to settle down and what's not. The best meditation, of course, is when you get the mind to settle down and it stays there. And then you can use that stillness, you can use that concentration to see deeper into the mind. So remember, the wisdom comes from this desire to do things well. And doing it well means to figure out what ways that you can engage with your mind, engage with your body that cause the least amount of suffering, the least amount of harm. When you have that in mind, then you're heading in the right direction.